Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're taking time out of your schedule to watch this video, we're so appreciative. It means the world to us. Welcome to another episode of Experience the Benton Benefits. My name is Mike Benton, and I'm half of the Tina and Mike Sells Home team. We truly appreciate you taking time out because we know you could be doing a million different things, but you're taking time out to watch our video. And we want to continue to build our team through more market introductions from friends and family like you by bringing more in value than we take in payment. One of the ways we're doing that is bringing these videos each and every week on important topics to you on your couch. Today's topic is renting versus owning. I bet you think that because I'm an agent, my wife and I are full-time realtors, I'm going to tell you bye, bye, bye. No, I'm not. Because that's not always the best scenario or case for most people, all right? Not everybody's ready, and there's five reasons. Number one, people rent for flexibility. They're not sure of the area. They're not sure if they want to live in the areas, so they rent. It's easier to do a year lease than it is to buy a house and try to sell it, all right? Number one is flexibility. Number two, career uncertainty. Just not sure. Maybe they got a new job. Maybe they're finishing up schooling. Maybe they're getting certification. They're just not sure of the career. Number three, Bad credit. I know that's a no brainer. You thought that was going to be number one, didn't you? But bad credit. Well, maybe they can get it one day, but at this moment in time, they can't, but they need a place to live, so renting is their best, uh, the best situation for them. Number th uh, four, income uncertainty. They're not sure how much they're going to make, and if it's steady, maybe they're a contractor, and they're on a one-year contract, two-year contract. They're just not really sure where this is going to lead. Number five. Less maintenance when you rent versus when you own. When you rent, you cover certain parts of which is all negotiable in the lease. When you own, you own all the maintenance, right? So that's the five reasons. Don't worry, I'll list them below. So if, you, if I talk to you faster below. Now, why should you own? Now, I will tell you that if you have an option to do both, then you really should look at renting because, they, I mean, not renting, to buy because there's, there, there's a little bit more meat on that bone. The juice is worth the squeeze, if you know what I mean. So, number one on, on, on buying, equity. You can build up equity. See, when you rent, you build up the landlord's equity. There's nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't benefit you. When you own, you build up your own equity. See, every year, you're tapping and paying down that mortgage. Their house should go up some in value, but you're, you're, you're building some equity into that house. So, God forbid a medical emergency should happen. There might be enough equity that you can pull out to pay for it. Now, I'm not condoning um, doing a home equity or a lot of credit to pay off credit card debt or buy a new car or take a vacation. I'm saying if there's an emergency that comes up, you might be able to tap into your equity. If you're renting, that wouldn't be the case. Number two, tax deductions. Every year on your taxes, you get to write off the interest year after year. When you rent, you can't do that. Number three, you have more creative control over the house. So if you wanted to add a little addition, maybe a deck, or um, you want to paint or tear out a wall or redo the kitchen, you're not going to do that for a house you're renting, but you have a little bit more creative control over the home that you own. All right? So, just quick comparison, and don't worry, it's down below, quick comparison. In our area, three bedroom, two bath, you're looking roughly around $1,600 a month. You can also find a three bedroom, two bath in our area, and pay almost the same, maybe less, maybe a little bit more, but you can still own the same price that it would take to rent. So in other words, 16 to 16, when you own, when you rent. Now, you got to factor in all the other all items I listed, but the point is, at that situation, it will pay off to own, all right? Now, don't worry, I'm not a loan officer, and I don't play one on TV, but please hit me up. If you want to know more and go in detail, well, I can actually run a report for you to show you the pros and cons of, of renting versus owning Hit me up. Send me a text message. Give me a call, 410-610-5614. Hit me up on social media. Click the links below. Do whatever you got to do. Carry a pigeon, fly monkeys. Get a hold of me. I want to make sure you understand both sides of the story, renting versus owning. 
So I hope you walked away with some value with this video. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed another episode of Experience the Benton Benefits. My name is Mike Benton and I'm sticking to this story. Thank you.